Sunshiners. Today is my second dose of COVID vaccine. And I must say that I am ready. I keep myself hydrated for sure. And instead of drinking um, water, well, of course I drink water, but um, I drink milk. Why? Because it will keep my body hydrated the most compared to water because milk has protein, B vitamins, calcium, and it will retain in my body for a long period of time compared to water. So yes, I have my milk with me. Take a left in between the signs. Last name Yap, Y A P. Sunshine. Yep, go ahead. Thank you. Sunshine, this is the right day for you. Yes. <laughs> the shot in my left
There you go. Thanks. All right, you can go up and they'll give you your shot. All right, thank you. How's it going? Doing good. good. How are you today? I'm doing good. Your little vaccine oh. card? Yes. Awesome. All right. What arm would you like to use? On my left. Perfect. Hello. Hi. Just the one? All right. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, very good. <laughs> Here's the fun part. Okay. And there you go. Wonderful. Thank so you. We're going to do you into a lane and then wait your 15 minutes of observation time and you're all done. Wh I'm sorry, which lane? He's going to wave you into one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. And turn off engine. How you doing? Great. How are Great. you? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> first or your second shot? My second dose. All right. Well, you got to wait about 13 more minutes. You just got it, right? You pulled out here? Yeah. All right. You, did you have any reaction or anything last time? No. Did you get sick? Some like a migraine type of headache. And I don't know if it was really my migraine oh. kicking yeah. or is it from the vaccine? Yeah. yeah. But other than that, I was doing great. All right. Well, we'll <laughs> check on you again in a minute. Thank you. You heard him saying 30 minutes, but I'm actually at the 15 minute observation lane. All right, Sunshiners, so it's actually very easy peasy today. It wasn't as hard as the last time. So time check, it's 3.04. Um, I have to wait like 15 minutes. So um, by 3.19, they will asked me to go on my way so again 15 minutes wait because um what you call this uh, 15 minute wait just for observation to check to see if there's any reaction going on and etc etc but um i'm kind of anxious because they said that on the on your second dose you will feel um, or experience some chills, body aches, joint pain, back ache, um, again, lightheaded, and some other reactions. But as I have promised, I will keep you guys posted. Um, I will keep you posted like probably five, eight hours later after I got my vaccine. And then um, after that, uh, I will also keep you posted about what happened the next day after 24 hours or so. All right. I'll see you later. All right. For my arm, once again, uh, I can still do range of motion. Uh, there's a little bit of resistance over there because once again, from where they gave me my vaccine, um, muscle movement, joint together, there's like, you know, you can tell that it's there. Um, it's gnawing. And at the same time, um, my left hip, I uh, would say about two over 10 pain level. It's not really painful, but you can tell that, hey, I haven't had this feeling that it's painful and all of a sudden I have it. So once again, I think it's because part of the reaction from the vaccine. So I'm gonna give you guys an update again for my eight hour update after my vaccine. Hello Sunshiners, I'm gonna give you a quick update. 
um, after I received my second dose of um, Moderna COVID vaccine. And I must say, after eight hours, I started to feel some joint pains. And it started from my um, knuckles. And then every time I climb up the stairs, of course, I can feel it from my knees as well. It's not like I'm crawling to go upstairs because of pain. It's manageable, tolerable. And then at the same time, I also feel my upper back pain, especially on my upper spine area. Um, every time I reposition myself from sitting, um, I I can, I, I know that I'm grimacing, but again, it's not like crying for pain. It's just there, you know, it's there. Pain level, I would say about between 2 and 3 over 10 pain level. Again, it's manageable. And if you're asking me, am I going to take any pain medication? I would say no. I want to try to see if I can just deal with it. Of course, I know peop some of you might say, why don't you just take pain medicine? You know, just to get rid of the pain. I... I'm not doing that because, again, I'm not trying to conceal the pain just because I have it. Again, I know why I'm having this pain or body aches because I have the COVID shot. And I must say that maybe if my pain level will be around 8, 7 pain level, maybe I'm going to take pain medicine. I'm not going to be a superhero because I'm not. And then... I continue to hydrate myself. I drink water, I drink milk, so whichever is um, available to me. Uh, for now, both are available, so I'm taking them both. And then, what else? Um, I try to move my joints every now and then. I don't want to keep myself in one position and try to avoid moving because I don't want to feel like, okay, I'm in pain, I don't want to move. No, I'm trying to move as much as I can to avoid for me i think to avoid the increase of pain i'm not really sure i'm no expert on this one but that's what i'm trying to do i'm not gonna just curl myself in bed or in the couch just because i'm pain i'm i'm trying to move around i'm trying to move around so my pain is gonna be oh what's the word i'm looking for um trying to manage it in a way that I can. And so yes, I think that's it for now. And then I'm going to give you an update of maybe tomorrow morning, right after I sleep, you know, after 24 hours, probably, so that you guys will know how I'm feeling. I'm going to keep you posted 12 hours later or 24 hours later, so that you guys will know on what's the outcome after my second dose of COVID vaccine. Good night. Hello, Sunshiners. I'm going to give you a 24-hour update um, after my second dose of COVID shot. So again, um, not even 24 hours, um, 18, 19-hour mark. I feel like SHIT already. My body is really aching, about 7 over 10 pain level. Um, it's so difficult to move or even, I, I would say I had a hard time talking because my body is just like trying to shut down, but I kept myself hydrated. So um, after that, um, you know, like how about during the night? Um, during the night, I did not experience any chills, which is a good thing. Um, although my breathing, um, my, I can tell that it's, I can feel the warm breath coming out from my body. And then if I'm going to check my temperature, which I did, of course, I checked my temperature. It was about 98.8. So it's not even, it's not even low grade fever. It was just, you know normal body temperature and feels like bad on the inside 
um, 24 hour mark I would say I was able to climb up and down the stairs I was able to move around not even thinking about the pain and, and whatnot um, my body starting to feel um, slightly recovered which I think I did because from not being able to move I am now able to move and actually I was able to get out from the house and then came back and I feel okay but 27 uh, hour mark then my body is starting trying to feel like okay this is it my body is aching again and everything but I tried to divert myself into something else. I moved around the house. I just don't want to curl myself in the couch or in the bed. Because if I do that, I know that my body is going to, you know, absorb that feeling of I'm not feeling well and everything. So everybody's different. But for me, I think it's a coping mechanic from, you know, it's a coping mechanic from for me that, you know diversion because i don't want to focus on to pain and my shot so right now i, I feel like okay I am, I am feeling okay right now i don't feel like uh, you know uh. and the good thing is i don't have that really bad headache like i used to have with my you know in my experience with my first shot and then about my arm right now i feel like it's it's still sore but I try not to think about it and try to avoid from hitting my arm into something so that it will not get worse or, you know, pain. And um, I would say that is my experience for my second uh, dose of vaccine. Again, I have the Moderna. And I think that I'm, I'm doing okay. I think you will be okay too. As long as you will divert yourself into something, think of something else. What keeps you busy most of the time? Don't just dwell on your pain or body aches or what happened to vaccine, what's next? Am I gonna, you know, feel like S-H-I-T? Well, which of course you will feel it, but try to divert yourself into something diversion is the key um try to think of uh, a coping mechanic for you if you think like um this will help you divert your attention instead of just focusing on your body aches and pain and whatnot um and again i think keeping yourself hydrated is number one key all right so i once again sunshiners i hope that my review for my first vaccine and my second vaccine helps and again every person is different we are not the same every vaccination is also different once again there are a lot of different brands of covid vaccine out there but i have moderna and um so again hydrate yourself Think of any coping mechanics that will help you divert yourself into, into something else rather than thinking of the pain. And you should be fine. And look, I am. I'm okay. All right. So if you have any questions, go ahead. Send it my way. Um, ask me questions. Anything. I will try my best to answer them right away. And um, stay safe out there. Bye, sunshiners.